Saint Bernadette Subaru Occitan, Bernadetta Sibiros, the 7th of January 1844 to the 16th of April 1879, also known as Saint Bernadette of Lourdes, was the firstborn daughter of a miller from Lourdes, Lorda in Occitan, in the department of Hautes Pyrenees in France, and came to be venerated as a saint in the Catholic Church. Subaru has become best known for the Marian apparitions of a young lady who asked for a chapel to be built at the nearby cave grotto at Masabiel where apparitions are said to have occurred between the 11th of February and the 16th of July 1858 she would later receive recognition when the lady who appeared to her identified herself as the immaculate conception despite initial skepticism from the catholic church subaru's claims were eventually declared worthy of belief after a canonical investigation and the marian apparition became known as our lady of lords since her death, Subaru's body has apparently remained internally incorrupt, but it is not without blemish. During her third exhumation in 1925, the firm of Pierre Imans made light wax coverings for her face and her hands due to the discoloration that her skin had undergone. These masks were placed on her face and hands before she was moved to her crystal reliquary in June 1925. The Marian Shrine at Lourdes Midi Pyrenees, from 2016 part of Occitanie went on to become a major pilgrimage site, attracting over 5 million pilgrims of all denominations each year. On 8 December 1933 Pope Pius XI declared Subaru a saint of the Catholic Church. Her feast day, initially specified as 18 February, the day Her Lady promised to make her happy, not in this life, but in the next, is now observed in most places on the date of her death, the 16th of April. Topic: <inaudible> Early stages of her life. Marie Bernard Subaru was the daughter of François Subaru (1807–1871), a miller, and Louise née Castro (1825–1866), a laundress. She was the eldest of nine children. Bernadette Jean, born and died 1845. 1846–1892. Jean Marie, 1848–1851. Jean Marie, 1851–1919. Justin, 1855–1865. Pierre, 1859–1931. Jean, born and died 1864, and a baby named Louise who died soon after her birth, 1866. Subaru was born on 7 January 1844 and baptized at the local parish church, St. Pierre's, on 9 January, her parents' wedding anniversary. Her godmother was Bernard Castro, her mother's sister, a moderately wealthy widow who owned a tavern. Hard times had fallen on France and the family lived in extreme poverty. Subaru was a sickly child and possibly due to this only measured 4 feet.7 inches, tall. She contracted cholera as a toddler and suffered severe asthma for the rest of her life. Subaru attended the day school conducted by the Sisters of Charity and Christian Instruction from Nevers. Contrary to a belief popularized by Hollywood movies, Subaru learned very little French, only studying French in school after age 13 due to being frequently ill and a poor learner. She could read and write very little due to her frequent illness. She spoke the language of Occitan, which was spoken by the local population of the Pyrenees region at that time and to a lesser degree today which is similar to Catalan spoken in eastern Spain. <inaudible> <inaudible> Visions By the time of the events at the Grotto, Subaru family's financial and social status had declined to the point where they lived in a one-room basement, formerly used as a jail, called La Cachat, the dungeon, where they were housed for free by her mother's cousin, André Saju. On the 11th of February 1858, Subaru, then aged 14, was out gathering firewood with her sister Marie and a friend near the Grotto of Masabiel Tuta de Masabiela, when she experienced her first vision. While the other girls crossed the little stream in front of the grotto and walked on, Subaru stayed behind, looking for a place to cross where she wouldn't get her stockings wet. She finally sat down to take her shoes off in order to cross the water and was lowering her stocking when she heard the sound of rushing wind, but nothing moved. A wild rose in a natural niche in the grotto, however, did move. From the niche, or rather the dark alcove behind it, came a dazzling light, and a white figure. This was the first of 18 visions of what she referred to as a caro pronounced a k e Gascon Occitan for that. 
In later testimony, she called it a small young lady, Uo Petito de Mizello. Her sister and her friend stated that they had seen nothing. On 14 February, after Sunday Mass, Subaru, with her sister Marie and some other girls, returned to the grotto. Subaru knelt down immediately, saying she saw the apparition again and falling into a trance. When one of the girls threw holy water at the niche and another threw a rock from above that shattered on the ground, the apparition disappeared. On her next visit, 18 February, Subaru said that, the vision, asked her to return to the grotto every day for a fortnight. This period of almost daily visions came to be known as La Quinzaine Sacre, holy fortnight. Initially, Subaru parents, especially her mother, were embarrassed and tried to forbid her to go. The supposed apparition did not identify herself until the 17th vision. Although the townspeople who believed she was telling the truth assumed she saw the Virgin Mary, Subaru never claimed it to be Mary, consistently using the word Akaro. She described the lady as wearing a white veil, a blue girdle and with a yellow rose on each foot, compatible with a description of any statue of the Virgin in a village church. Subaru's story caused a sensation with the townspeople, who were divided in their opinions on whether or not she was telling the truth. Some believed her to have a mental illness and demanded she be put in an asylum. The other contents of Subaru reported visions were simple and focused on the need for prayer and penance. On 25 February she explained that the vision had told her, to drink of the water of the spring, to wash in it and to eat the herb that grew there, as an act of penance. To everyone's surprise, the next day the grotto was no longer muddy but clear water flowed. On 2 March, at the 13th of the alleged apparitions, Subaru told her family that the lady said that, a chapel should be built and a procession formed. Subaru 16th claimed vision, which she stated went on for over an hour, was on 25 March. According to her account, during that visitation, she again asked the woman for her name but the lady just smiled back. She repeated the question three more times and finally heard the lady say, in Gascon Occitan, I am the Immaculate Conception. K soy era Immaculado Concepcio, a phonetic transcription of KSOI era Immaculata Concepcion. Some of the people who interviewed Subaru after her revelation of the visions thought her simple minded. However, despite being rigorously interviewed by officials of both the Catholic Church and the French government, she stuck consistently to her story. Results of her visions After investigation, church authorities confirmed the authenticity of the apparitions in 1862. In the 150 years since Subaru dug up the spring, 69 cures have been verified by the Lord's Medical Bureau as inexplicable, after what the church claims are extremely rigorous scientific and medical examinations, that failed to find any other explanation. The Lord's Commission that examined Bernadette after the visions ran an intensive analysis on the water and found that, while it had a high mineral content, it contained nothing out of the ordinary that would account for the cures attributed to it. Bernadette said that it was faith and prayer that cured the sick, one must have faith and pray, the water will have no virtue without faith. Subaru request to the local priest to build a chapel at the site of her visions eventually gave rise to a number of chapels and churches at Lourdes. The Sanctuary of Our Lady of Lourdes is now one of the major Catholic pilgrimage sites in the world. One of the churches built at the site, the Basilica of St. Pius X, can accommodate 25,000 people and was dedicated by the future Pope John XXIII when he was the papal nuncio to France. Close to 5 million pilgrims from all over the world visit Lourdes population of about 15,000 every year to pray and to drink the miraculous water, believing that they obtain from the Lord healing of the body and of the spirit. Later years Disliking the attention she was attracting, Subaru went to the hospice school run by the Sisters of Charity of Nevers where she had learned to read and write. Although she considered joining the Carmelites, her health precluded her entering any of the strict contemplative orders. On 29 July 1866, with 42 other candidates, she took the religious habit of a postulant and joined the Sisters of Charity at their motherhouse at Nevers. Her mistress of novices was Sister Marie Therese Vauzo. The mother superior at the time gave her the name Marie Bernard in honor of her godmother who was named Bernard. As Patricia A. McEachern observes, 
Bernadette was devoted to Saint Bernard, her patron saint, she copied long texts related to him in notebooks and then on bits of paper. The experience of becoming Sister Marie Bernard marked a turning point for Bernadette as she realized more than ever that the great grace she received from the Queen of Heaven brought with it great responsibilities. Subaru spent the rest of her brief life at the motherhouse, working as an assistant in the infirmary and later as a sacristan, creating beautiful embroidery for altar cloths and vestments. Her contemporaries admired her humility and spirit of sacrifice. One day, asked about the apparitions, she replied, The Virgin used me as a broom to remove the dust. When the work is done, the broom is put behind the door again. Subaru had followed the development of Lourdes as a pilgrimage shrine while she still lived at Lourdes, but was not present for the consecration of the Basilica of the Immaculate Conception there in 1876. Unfortunately, Subaru childhood bout of cholera left Bernadette with severe, chronic asthma, and eventually she contracted tuberculosis of the lungs and bones. For several months prior to her death, she was unable to take an active part in convent life. She eventually died of her long-term illness at the age of 35 on 16 April 1879 Easter Wednesday, while praying the Holy Rosary. On her deathbed, as she suffered from severe pain and in keeping with the Virgin Mary's admonition of penance, 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 Bernadette proclaimed that, All this is good for heaven. Her final words were, Blessed Mary, Mother of God, pray for me. A poor sinner, a poor sinner. Subaru body was laid to rest in the St. Gildard convent. Sainthood Subaru was declared blessed on 14 June 1925 by Pope Pius XI. She was canonized by Pius XI on 8 December 1933. In the spring of 2015, the town of Lourdes lobbied for Subaru remains to be returned to Lourdes, a move opposed by the city of Nevers. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Exhumations. Bishop Gauthier of Nevers and the Church exhumed the body of Subaru on the 22nd of September 1909, in the presence of representatives appointed by the postulators of the cause, two doctors and a sister of the community. They claimed that although the crucifix in her hand and her rosary had both oxidized, her body appeared incorrupt, preserved from decomposition. This was cited as one of the miracles to support her canonization. They washed and reclothed her body before burial in a new double casket. The church exhumed the corpse a second time on 3 April 1919. A doctor who examined the body noted, The body is practically mummified, covered with patches of mildew and quite a notable layer of salts, which appear to be calcium salts. The skin has disappeared in some places, but it is still present on most parts of the body. In 1925, the church exhumed the body for a third time. They took relics, which were sent to Rome. A precise imprint of the face was molded so that the firm of Pierre Imens in Paris could make a wax mask based on the imprints and on some genuine photos to be placed on her body. This was common practice for relics in France as it was feared that the blackish tinge to the face and the sunken eyes and nose would make an unpleasant impression on the public. Imprints of the hands were also taken for the presentation of the body and the making of wax casts. The remains were then placed in a gold and crystal reliquary in the chapel of St. Bernadette at the Motherhouse in Nevers. Three years later in 1928, Dr. Comte published a report on the exhumation of Subaru in the second issue of the Bulletin de l'Association Médicale de Notre Dame de Lourdes. I would have liked to open the left side of the thorax to take the ribs as relics and then remove the heart which I am certain must have survived. However, as the trunk was slightly supported on the left arm, it would have been rather difficult to try and get at the heart without doing too much noticeable damage. As the Mother Superior had expressed a desire for the saint's heart to be kept together with the whole body, and as Monsignor the Bishop did not insist, I gave up the idea of opening the left-hand side of the thorax and contented myself with removing the two right ribs which were more accessible. 
What struck me during this examination, of course, was the state of perfect preservation of the skeleton, the fibrous tissues of the muscles still supple and firm, of the ligaments, and of the skin, and above all the totally unexpected state of the liver after 46 years. One would have thought that this organ, which is basically soft and inclined to crumble, would have decomposed very rapidly or would have hardened to a chalky consistency. Yet, when it was cut it was soft and almost normal in consistency. I pointed this out to those present, remarking that this did not seem to be a natural phenomenon. In media In 1909 the French short movie Bernadette Subaru et les Apparitions de Lourdes, directed by Honoré Le Sable, is the first attempt to tell with the new cinematographic art the story of Bernadette, according to Rye 3 documentary Lourdes. La Storia. In 1924 the French film Le Miracle de Lourdes directed by Bernard Simon with Pierrette Lugand in the role of Subaru. In 1926 the French film La Vie Merveilleuse de Bernadette directed by Georges Palou and starring Alexandra as Subaru. In 1935 the Portuguese Georges Palou directed La Vierge du Rocher, The Virgin of the Rock, with Micheline Masson in the role of Bernadette. Subaru Life was given a fictionalized treatment in Franz Werfel's novel, The Song of Bernadette, which was later adapted by Henry King into a 1943 film of the same name, starring Jennifer Jones as Bernadette and the uncredited Linda Darnell as the Immaculate Conception. Jones won the Best Actress Oscar for this portrayal. On 13 October 1958, the Westinghouse Desilu Playhouse presented Song of Bernadette on the CBS television network starring Italian-born film and television actress Pier Angeli as Bernadette Subaru. The cast also featured Marion Seldes and Norman Alden. The program, hosted by Daisy Arnaz, was adapted by Ludie Clare from a story by Margaret Gray Blanton. It was directed by both Ralph Alswang and Claudio Guzman. In 1960, Andy Williams released his album The Village of St. Bernadette, which featured the 1959 song, The Village of St. Bernadette. It was one of Williams' few top ten singles he garnered throughout his career. In 1961 Daniela Adjuret portrayed Bernadette in Bernadette of Lourdes French title, Il Suffit Demer or Love is Enough of Robert Doreen. In 1961 the German TV movie Bernadette Subaru directed by Hans Quest and starring Cornelia Boge. Christina Galbo portrayed Achaea Joven de Blanco A Little Maiden in White, Spain, 1965, directed by Leon Klimovsky. In 1967 a French TV movie Le Fair Lords directed by Marcel Bluewall and starring Marie-Hélène Brylet as Bernadette. In 1981 Andrea Del Boca portrayed Bernadette in a homonymous Argentine television miniseries directed by her father Nicolas Del Boca four episodes of one hour each. In 1987, Jennifer Warnes recorded, Song of Bernadette, co-written with Leonard Cohen, for her album of Cohen compositions famous Blue Raincoat. The first verse refers to the, Child called Bernadette, who, Saw the Queen of Heaven once. The song has been covered by other well-known artists, including Anne Murray and Bette Midler. Bernadette in 1988 and La Passion de Bernadette, the Passion of Bernadette in 1989 by Jean Delanois, starring Sidney Penny in the lead role. In 1990 Fernando Uribe and Stephen Hahn directed a short animated film, Bernadette, La Princesa de Lourdes, produced by John Williams and Jorge González, available in English since 1991 with the title Bernadette, the Princess of Lourdes. Angelia Sinski portrayed Saint Bernadette in the Italian TV movie Lords, 2000, by Lodovico Gasparini. In 2002, the musical Vision by Jonathan Smith and Dominic Hartley, depicting the life of Bernadette, debuted in Liverpool. It has been performed in the UK, France, and Nigeria. In 2007 the Indian film Our Lady of Lords directed by V.R. Gopinath and starring Ajna Noizo. In 2009 Bernadette, an opera in three acts by Trevor Jones. First performance 2016 in Gloucestershire, England. In 2011 the French short movie Grata Profunda, Les Humours du Gaufry directed by Pauline Cournier Jardin and starring Simon Fravega. In 2011 the French film Je m'appelle Bernadette directed by Jean Sagels and starring Katia Cuq Katia Miron. 
In 2013 the French TV movie Une Femme Nommée Marie, directed by Robert Hossein and Dominique Thiel, starring Manon Lamole. In 2013, Bernadette Caviam book released by Geetham Publications, Chennai. Bernadette's life explained with poetry by poet C. P. Sivrasan, Mangalakuntu. In 2015, Le Coup de Grasse, an original song about Saint Bernadette, was published and released on YouTube by American songwriter O. R. V. Pibbs. See also Immaculate Mary, Lord's Hymn Topic Notes and References Topic Bibliography Taylor, Terezi, two thousand three Bernadette of Lords Burns and Oates ISBN O eight six O one two three three seven five Sadler, Anna T The Wonders of Lords, eighteen seventy five Clark, S. J., Richard. Lords, Its Inhabitants, Its Pilgrims, and Its Miracles, 1888. Keyes, Francis Parkinson. Bernadette of Lords, 1955. Laurentin, Rene. Visage de Bernadette, Lords, 1978, French. Bernadette of Lords, Saint Gildard, Mevers, France, 1926. Annales de Notre Dame de Lourdes, Missionaries of the Immaculate Conception, Lords 1871, French. The Wonders of Masabiel at Lourdes, Rev. S. Provost, 1925. Notre Dame de Lourdes, Henri Lasserre, Paris 1870, French. Bernadette, Henri Lasserre, Paris 1879, Year of Bernadette's Death, French. Our Lady of Lourdes, Henri Lasserre, June 1906, English. The Miracle Joined at Lords from Essays by Woolsey Teller, copyright 1945 by the Truth Seeker Company, Inc. Critique of the Lord's Story. Our Lady of Lords, Henri Lasserre, 1875, English. La Sainte Vierge of Lords, 1877, French. Das Lied von Bernadette, Franz Werfel, 1953, German. The Happening at Lords, Alan Neem, 1967. Lords, Ruth Harris, 1999. After Bernadette, Don Sharkey, 1945. And I Shall Be Healed, Edel Trofolda, 1960. Saint Bernadette, Margaret Trouncer, 1964. A Queen's Command, Anna Kuhn, 1947. Bernadette, Marcel Claire, 1958. A Holy Life, Saint Bernadette of Lords, Patricia McEachern, 2005. The Story of Bernadette, Rev. J. Lane, 1997. The Wonder of Lords, John Oxenham, 1926. Lords, Emil Zola, 1895, German. Bernadette Speaks: A Life of Saint Bernadette Subaru in Her Own Words. Rene Laurentin, Pauline Books and Media, 2000. Saint Bernadette, Leonard von Matt, Francis Trocou, 1957. Bernadette of Lords, J. H. Gregory, 1914, First U.S. Book. Lords, Emile Zola, 2000, English. The Miracle of Bernadette, Margaret Gray Blanton, 1958. My Witness, Bernadette, J. B. Estrade, 1951. Saint Bernadette Subaru, 1844 to 1879, by Abbe Francois Trocou, Tan Books and Publishers, Inc., 1957. We Saw Her, B. G. Sandhurst, 1953. Werfel, Franz. The Song of Bernadette, 1942. Topic magazines and articles Illustration Journal Universal, story covering Bernadette and apparitions from time of apparitions the 23rd of October 1858 The London Illustrated News, the election of Pope Pius XI the 11th of February 1922. L'Opinion Publique, the funeral of Pope Pius IX the 14th of March 1878. The Illustrated London News, The Conclave and Election of the Pope, the 9th of March 1878. The Graphic, with the Lord's Pilgrims, the 7th of October 1876. Harper's Weekly, French Pilgrims, Romish Superstitions, the 16th of November 1872. The Graphic, A Trip to the Pyrenees, the 12th of October 1872. 
Harper's Weekly, The Last French Miracle, the 20th of November 1858, recounts actual happenings at the time of apparitions. Street. Paul Dispatch, Throne of Saint Peter made vacant by the death of Pope Leo XIII, the 21st of July 1903. Saint Paul Dispatch, Cardinal Sardo, Street. Pope Pius X of Venice called to Throne of Saint Peter, the 5th of August 1903. The Minneapolis Journal. Pope Pius X is reported dead, relapse caused by grief over war, the 19th of August 1914. Topic: External links. The body of Saint Bernadette includes reports of her exhumation and photographs of her body and tomb. Notes on the investigation, including facsimile of notes taken during an interview with Bernadette. Catholic Encyclopedia, Notre Dame de Lourdes. Bernadette Subaru. Find a grave. Retrieved the 11th of August 2010. Works by Bernadette Subaru at Open Library Sanctuary of Our Lady of Lourdes